Gervonta Tank Davis is set to make his boxing return this month after a year-long break from the sport. Word on the street was that with all that time out of the boxing scene, Davis had gotten soft. But hey, his recent training footage proves otherwise. We knew Tank had monstrous power in his hands, but now he's got speed. His hands are flashy, making him more dangerous than before. It has certainly caught the attention of everyone, including the one and only Floyd Mayweather. Now we know Floyd and Davis have one controversial past. Those two go a long way back, but today things couldn't be more sour between the two of them. Well, my thing, my thing is I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And um, But over the years, it's constantly going on the Internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter, um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. Floyd is acting all innocent, like he isn't the one who joined forces with Ryan Garcia, who is Tank's biggest enemy. And it doesn't just end here. Floyd was not impressed with Tank's training footage. Yep, that's right. Floyd believes that there is a more talented and skilled fighter out there than Tank Davis. <laughs> You heard the man. Money Mayweather has Shekhar Stevenson as his number one. But hey, things get more interesting when, in an interview, Tank shows interest in going up against Floyd in a pro about after his press conference with Frank Martin. And now that's a solid list. This Floyd Gervonta beef is slowly coming back to life, and Adrian Broner's reaction to it is something you don't want to miss. You know, and when me and Tank go at it sometime, he'll look at Tank and say, yo, listen to him, man. I'm good. What's your thoughts on Tank and Floyd going back and forth, man? I let two grown men handle their business, but they know whose side I'm on if we got to go there, though. <laughs> <laughs> These two guys got to step into the ring and settle the score. Now Gervonta Davis addressed this beef with Floyd recently on the Cigar Talk Show podcast. Now, set you off that you was like, I gotta do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Oh. He said, every, so you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you, like oh, he, like he that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me, yeah. and I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Cause it's, I feel like y'all, y'all got, I would say love hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever, but is that sometimes like you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different, or what is it? To you? No, it just. It, Floyd don't never, he feel as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And I, and I'm doing it at a young age, wait, like, when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, that's, that's the, he has a part that's of the deal. He, ain't, he don't know about that yet, mm. but that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. And y'all just, and I'm just releasing <laughs> it. Exclusive. That's exclusive, that's exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal? Yeah. Tank don't cap, nigga, that's a lot of bread. You'll see, it's okay. gonna come out. A bigger deal than Floyd? Are you sure Gervonta Davis? Because they call him Money Mayweather for a reason. Floyd needs to pick up the gloves again for one last bang. That's the only way we'll hear the end of this beef. And we know Davis is absolutely down for the challenge. But if he wants to get to Floyd Mayweather, he got to get through Frank Martin first. Now let me tell you one thing about Frank Martin. This guy is undefeated with 12 knockouts. Since both the fighters haven't seen the downside of a loss, you know what that means. Somebody's O has got to go. But did you know that this won't be the first time these two see each other in the ring? Yep, that's right. These two fighters have sparred before, and what happened in the spar is going to shock everyone. Frank Martin exposed Davis. Take a look at yourselves. Like we was fighting. When I, when I hit him with that shot... And he grabbed and got to grab and all that. That's when we got to like, mm. you know, we got to just fight. That last round, they broke it up. So like, 
I'm thinking niggas finna, we finna bang. Like, like outside. Yeah, yeah, like, I'm thinking we is. So I hurry up, get out the ring, go change my clothes, and then I get interviewed as soon as I come back. Yeah. And I'm like looking like, like you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it, it was gonna try to sneak me yeah. or something, but it was, right. it was a little off, you know, like, so I feel like he thought he was gonna, he was gonna do me how he did them. And it was, it, it wasn't, I wasn't going. You know, hold up. Did he hurt you in sparring? Nah. I feel like I seen him say. He, he, on, you saw that interview? Big cap, <laughs> big cap. I know you seen that interview. Where yeah, he I said, seen it. He, he said, said, he said, he said something. So maybe he heard him like I said before. Big like cap, that. Yeah. big cap. So did you feel like you heard him? Was he? Was you in your head like, oh, I just hurt Tank? Yeah, man. I heard that nigga. Yeah, uh, facts. Yeah. Ooh, it's not a lot of people that can say that, Frank. I'm just trying to let you know. Not a lot of people that say that about Tank. Uh, oh boy, you're telling me that Frank Martin got the better of Tank Davis? The Tank Davis? Now that spices things up for sure. If Martin can cause trouble for Davis in the spar, who's to say he won't do it in the match? Moments after the spar, Frank Martin was interviewed, so let's take a look at that. Frank Martin, Frank man, uh... You know, it's too bad people can't see, but that was amazing sparring just now with you and Gervonta Davis. Mm -hmm. What'd you make of that session? It was good work. You know what I mean? Got to get to know the world champion. I held my own. He held his. Good experience. Good experience. Uh, people will be interested to see what you thought of, of everything. The power, the speed, the skills. What, what was your assessment of Tank Davis? He's sharp. You know, you got to have some, feel like you got to have some power. You got to be able to, you know, you got to be able to hold your own in there. Tank and beast. What'd you think of the, the punching power? He, he cool. He got some power. He got some power. He could crack. Yeah, he crack. You, for uh, for you know sparring guys, 130, 135. Was he like maybe the best puncher you ever sparred? Or nah. What would you think fun. of the skills? Good, good, good timing. He's sharp. Good. No point. Mm -hmm. No point. You can just see that Martin wasn't impressed with Gravanta at all, and that should give him a lot of confidence coming into this fight. The way Frank Martin has been talking in the buildup shows he won't go down easily in the fight. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling I'm feeling good, man. Just uh tapering down. You know, we got two week two about two weeks out, so we tapering down and you know, we sharp, but you know, just being just being on, on, on point mentally. You know, that's the main thing. What do you think about Gervonta as the opponent? Obviously we've seen him fight, we've seen the knockouts. What challenges does he pose for you when you get in there? Uh, you know, I got I I feel like he opposed a lot of challenges. You know, um, you know he a a balanced fighter, well rounded fighter. So, you know he he gonna bring the best out of me. The the saying goes, you know, somebody's O has got to go. What do you pose to him to go in there and do something nobody's done to hand tank his first defeat? Uh, you know, I feel like I feel like I got a lot of things that you know him the world a lot of people may not expect that i got you know so um i'm just ready to go in there and, and capitalize off of the moment when you look at the odds obviously they're going to favor someone like that do you even do you even put that in your mind or do you embrace that because if nobody's giving you a chance to win you get to get to shock the world people can make some that, money with you that shit embrace you know i like i say i say bear with me win with me you know, like that shit is one of them things. Like I embrace it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm eating off of it. You know, it's fueling me. So it is what it is. You know, it ain't gonna change. So, you know, I just gotta go out there and, and do the unexpected. One. I know you don't look. But what makes this fight even more entertaining for the fans is that it's got real beef involved. The blood could not run any colder between these two fighters, and all the hatred came to life when we saw both the guys meet at the press conference. Yeah, that got heated by the second. Him so, don't got nothing you don't in common. Me. You don't know me. For but, talking but, about. but the little female crazy. he got. That's that's the problem. But that little female he got, oh, she probably around here somewhere. <laughs> I'll catch up with him. La, 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 Wait, la, hey, la, hey, 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 hey. Little female. The, hey. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with that, let's move on. Listen, this is a tremendous fight. Taking personal shots. Well, that's how Gervonta Davis rolls. But hey. If you thought Martin was going to let that slide, then you got another thing coming at you. Because just look at how intense their face-off was. Martin looked like he was about to catch a body. Fonte, Tank Davis! Thank you. 
and Javante Dave Davis, and Frank the Ghost Martin heating things up already in anticipation of the showdown of the WBA Lightweight Championship of the World. I'll invite, we'll invite our guests, our trainers, to join us here at the podium. What's up? What's up? Is up. Shake it. up. Shake it. up. Is up. Shake it. Is up. Shake it. Is up. He ready. He ready. But he's in my eye. He seen some shit in my eyes too long before. What'd he say? When was it? It's natural. It's the natural energy. You know, you got two, you got two like dominant like guys. You know what I mean? Like you got one who ain't going, you got another one who ain't going. I ain't going, you know, so it just, it's just like, and it's real, it's right. real, so it's, it's different, you know, it's different. I feel like everybody underestimate me, you know what I mean? I feel like this my, is my opportunity, this my moment to, you know, shake the world, you know, the game up, you know, I feel like them giving me this opportunity, you know, let me in the door, they fucked up. Have you been Keep the heat in for now, Martin. Fight day is only weeks away. But this heated interaction took the internet by storm. Let's take a look at what Mayweather CEO Leonard Ellerby had to say on this hot topic. But get this, despite being a part of Team Mayweather, he's backing Gervonta Davis for this fight. Most definitely, but he's in his element. Yeah. He's in his element. He's the face of boxing. Um, and again, you could just see how comfortable he is with being up there and, and, and again, this is his show. Um, this is a monster event. You have David Benavides in the co-feature. Again, so you have two very explosive fighters, one in the main and one in the co, who are coming to deliver for the fans and get the fans exactly what they want to see. But here comes the strange part. Take a guess who Frank Martin has been working with behind closed doors. Yep, you know who it is. It's Floyd Mayweather. It's funny how Mayweather and Tank Davis always end up on the opposite side of the battle. But it's true Mayweather has been training with Frank Martin, and if there's a man who knows how to beat Tank, then it's got to be the guy who mentored him from the start. I remember you talking about doing the pad work with Floyd, and he said you got the speed and the power to be a world champ. What did that do for your confidence? You can hear that from anybody, but Floyd is Floyd. It was just motivation, you know, because at that time, too, man, I wasn't even, I ain't had an IQ yeah. that I got now. So at that point, I was just really going off natural athleticism. So for him to tell me that at that time, getting deeper in my bag, trying to understand Shit. the game. It's not like basketball where you got to depend on people. It's not like football. Like, the work that you put in reflects directly with your results. People don't even know the the amount of hours that y'all put into this. Yeah. We ain't got no backup. We got a bad day, whatever. We ain't got nobody to come, you know, come through for us. It's all on you. But Floyd is not the only one who switched sides. Ryan Garcia and Frank Martin have been good friends for a while. They've both been trained by the same coach and not to mention they've both also been seen partying together. So it rubbed Martin the wrong way when Garcia tweeted this. I will bet one million that Gravanta will co-Frank Martin within seven rounds. I love Frank, but the truth is the truth. Let's just say Frank Martin wasn't too happy with Ryan switching sides all of a sudden. You know, um, it, you know, it doesn't seem like there's bad blood. It seems like it's a lot of just competitive fighting spirits. So um, yeah. a person who I thought maybe stable mate was really cool was Ryan Garcia, who made his pick on social media and kind of switched. Um, he's also made some comments like he's not your friend um, because maybe he wants to fight Earl and you're Earl. Um, is that Ryan just helping promote the fight? You know how Ryan is, or is is is, is there some truth to like you guys don't really get along? I mean, anymore? nah, like nah. He was he was cool, you know. He was cool, but like me, I I don't care what he say. You know, I wouldn't get on and talk down, or you know, like he went from all oh, Frank from his his first conference, all oh, Frank win to Frank gonna get I bet a million dollars against him. Like that shit's fake to me. You know, like I don't, I don't fuck with people like that. You know, that's fake. I don't care if it's promoting, building. That shit's fake. You know, so I ain't, I ain't with all that. Like I'm the type of person I rock with who I rock with, and you know that's why my circle be small how it is because it's too. It's, it's you can't blame the guy for feeling this way. Ryan did predict Frank Martin to get the job done, so it doesn't really make sense why Ryan would just switch last minute. I'm going to I'm gonna go with Frank because I'm going to be there every step of the way and put him on game. Like, this is what he likes to do. This is what he will do. Boom, boom, boom. You'll end up stopping Javante? No, nah, I don't want to. Let the lady go. You never know. 
But hey, it's Ryan Garcia we're talking about. No one really understands what he does and why he does it. Truth be told, who needs Ryan Garcia on your corner when you've got the best of all time? Floyd Mayweather backing you up? And hey, if Tanks wipes the floor with Martin, then maybe Floyd can step up to the plate and finish the job. Now that would, for sure, break the internet. Fans are already predicting what would happen in a showdown between Floyd and Davis. One of the fans tweeted, Tank ain't even test his skills against Devin or Shakur yet lol. Floyd stops Tank in 10. Another fan commented, Floyd would have beaten him because when Tank doesn't have a methodical answer, he just looks for one shot opening. Floyd was really good at not giving his opponent nothing for 12 rounds. While that's a solid point, you gotta consider the age factor. Floyd is old and Tank Davis is in his prime. That alone can change the trajectory of how this fight goes down. Either way, it's gonna be fireworks. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.